وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى today we're going to take the last and final مظهر من مظاهر دنو الهمة and that is uh, the 27 uh, مظهر which is تتبع العثرات والفرح بالزلات it is to be happy uh, with people's shortcomings and faults and mistakes. It is also to seek and look for people's mistakes and shortcomings. How many people? فَكَمْ مِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ هَذَا دَأْبُهُ وَدَيْدَنَهُ How many people do we know today that that's how they are? They buy a particular individual's works and his books and they would read it. Not because they want to learn a benefit from it, but they are looking for mistakes and shortcomings. And when he comes across a statement of his, because this is a human being, he's prone to mistakes, he will do mistakes. Who is the one that you're going to find who doesn't do mistakes? Who's the person on this earth that we know today who doesn't do mistakes and is free from errors? All of us are open to mistakes and f- errors. Prophets are the only ones that are infallible. Human beings, us, we're always going to do mistakes. We're open for mistakes. We don't believe ismatul ulama that scholars are infallible. We don't believe in that. That is not min aqidati ahli sunnah. So what do they do? الْعَثَرَات. He looks for those mistakes. وَيَفْرَحُ بِالزَّلَّاتِ And he gets happy when he sees those mistakes. So happy. He says, Alhamdulillah. Allah has clarified the situation for us regarding this person. Instead of saying, one of our own, a Muslim brother of us has become misguided. Lilla lillahi wa inna A Muslim brother of us has come with a shortcoming, for example. Not necessarily a misguidance, but maybe a mistake. Instead of being saddened about it and heartbroken about that, you become happy. You say, Alhamdulillah. You go into his videos or you go online to just watch what he says. And all day you're listening to it. And then you find a mistake in there. And guess what you find? A mistake. He places a kasra on a, a word instead of a fatha. And then you say, ah, oh, he doesn't know the Arabic language. Or he's a revert, he's new to Islam. And, uh, or he's not even new to but he's a revert. He, he reads the Quran in a certain way. He's tried, he's done mujahadatul nafs. He recites it like this. You find this, you laugh about this, and you mock this. فَإِذَا سَمِعَ قَبِيحًا فَرِحَ بِهِ Whenever they hear from you any evil thing, they become happy with it. وَنَشَرَهُ And they spread it. Do you know what he did? This is what he did. They speak about it. They laugh about it. وَإِذَا سَمِعَ حَسَنًا سَاءَهُ ذَلِكَ and when they hear something good about you and hard work and effort that you've exerted, it hurts them. And then what do they do? وَسَتَرَهُ فَطَاوَهُ وَسَتَرَهُ They conceal it. They hide it from, for, from you or from the people. The poet, he said, إِنْ يَسْمَعُوا سَيِّئًا طَارُوا بِهِ فَرَحًا مِنِّي وَمَا سَمِعُوا مِنْ صَالِحٍ دَفَنُوا if they hear a mistake of mine, a wrong of mine, taru bihi farahan, they spread it around the earth and they're happy about it. Regarding my situation, minni wa ma sami'u min salihin dafanu, when they hear something good that I have done, hard work that I've exerted, a part of my life that I've rectified, what do they do? They bury it. They bury it. Another poet he said, yamshuna fi nasi yabuguna al-uyuba liman 
لا عيب فيه لكي يستشرف العطب إن يعلم الخير يخفوه وإن علم شرا أذاع وإن لم يعلم كذب He said they walk on this earth amongst the people they walk around this earth looking for the mistake of a person who may not even have a mistake in that particular issue they look for their mistakes they go over it and again and again they say there must be a mistake they keep doing that until the poet he said he said if they know a good in me what do they do they hide it and they conceal it and if they come to know about Sharran and evil that I have done Adha'u They go out and they proclaim it They pronounce it in public In, in the opening And if they can't find a mistake of mine They can't find a mistake on me They can't find anything What do they do? Kadabu They lie They make up a lie They make up something And then they say this is what you did This is Wallahi min ahqar al-a'mal This type of action which is Tatabu al-atharat following people's mistakes and becoming happy when they when their mistake comes out in the open wallahi it is min ahqar al-a'mal it is from the lowest of actions it is from the lowest of actions wa ahatt al-khisal and it is also from the lowest of characteristics and attributes wa sahibuhu min adhaf al-nas nafsa and wallahi this person he is a person whose nafs is very weak wa asfalihim himma Oh Wallahi, you have the lowest form of aspiration. The poet, he said, شَرُّ الْوَرَى بِعُيُوبِ النَّاسِ مُشْتَغِلٌ مِثْلُ الذُّبَابِ يُرَاعِ مُوَاطِنُ الْعِلَلِ The poet, he said, شَرُّ الْوَرَى, the worst of people, is بِعُيُوبِ النَّاسِ مُشْتَغِلٌ A person who is always concerned about people's mistakes. He's always said, oh, did he say that? Really? Where did he say that? Show me. And he goes up. Oh, he did. He actually did say it. وَهَكَذَا All the time. And, uh, he also said it. Say, Wallah. Okay, where did he say it? He goes, he is شَرُّ الْوَرَى بِعُيُوبِ النَّاسِ مُشْتَغِلُونَ He's busy and preoccupied in knowing the people's mistakes. مِثْلُ الذُّبَابِ يُرَاعِ مُوَاطِنَ الْعِلَلِ Like the fly only looks for places of uh, illnesses. Places of deficiency, places of, and if your whole entire body is healthy, right? And let's say a part of your body, there's pus coming from it or it's bleeding. Uh, the fly will not go to any other part of your body. Where would it go? It go to that, 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 that particular point of your body. It won't go to all of the other parts. It will go to that particular part. Why? That's how the, the fly is. Some people are like that. Some people are like that. They see all of that good. They don't want to see it. They see a controversial issue or someone, or something comes out about someone, they are all over it. Everyone's retweeting it, everyone's talking about it, everyone's commenting on it, everyone has something to say. Kalam, Yani, where's Akhira? Where's your Qiyamah? Who made you the judge? Did you verify? All of that shayat, allegations and accusations, people just believe it. No problem. People love it, they talk about it. They enjoy it. Ibn Hibban al-Rahimahullah, he said, فَمَنْ اشْتَغَلَ بِعُيُوبِ النَّاسِ عَنْ عُيُوبِ نَفْسِهِ عَمِيَ قَلْبُهُ Any individual who busies himself, preoccupies his time, following up the mistakes of other people and looking at people's mistakes and what has said, been said about someone, just following that up all the time. عَمِيَ قَلْبُهُ Remember that your heart will be blinded. From seeing. إِنَّهَا لَا تَعْمَلْ أَبَصَارُ وَلَكِنْ تَعْمَلْ قُلُوبُ الَّتِي فِي الصُّدُورِ Allah did not say in the Quran with a blind heart you won't be able to see the truth and you won't be able to see the evil. لَا يَعْرِفُ مَعْرُوفًا وَلَا يُنْكِرُ مُنْكَرًا You won't be able to see the good from the bad. So everything is mixed up for you. Then look what he said. وَتَعِبَ بَدَنُهُ Then your body becomes tired because you're following up people's mistakes all day. Your body becomes tired. وَتَعَذَّرَ عَلَيْهِ تَرْكُ عُيُوبِ نَفْسِهِ And then you become incompetent, unable to rectify your own situation, your own self. فَإِنَّ أَعْجَزَ النَّاسَ مَنْ عَابَ النَّاسَ بِمَا فِيهِمْ One of the most incompetent of people is the one who scolds people in faults and mistakes that are in them. Imagine that. You 
you are actually faulting a person a mistake that is in them. That's the lowest you can actually can reach. Somebody has a mistake, and you're, you're, you're faulting them for it. Instead of wanting to help the person, because you yourself, how many do you have? Would you love the same for you? Uh, would you love the sa same treatment that you're giving others? And then look what he said after that. Ibn Hibban, he said, وَأَعْجَزُ مِنْهُ مَنْ عَابَهُمْ بِمَا فِيهِ And the lowest, and the lowest of low, is the one who uh, faults others in errors and mistakes that are present in you. You're saying things about others, but you actually, you actually have it yourself. So what I say, brothers and sisters, is فَلَّائِقُ بِالْعَاقِلِ أَنْ يَشْتَغِلَ بِعُيُوبِهِ the smart person, the clever person, the intellectual person should preoccupy their life and their time in their own shortcomings and errors. And work towards rectifying your own situation. And if you see from your brothers, if you see a mistake or a shortcoming from your brothers, Strive, exert efforts in trying to sincerely advise the person and trying to rectify the problem. Stay away from criticizing the person to humiliate them and to put them down and to slander them. Stay away from all of that. Your aim is the problem gets removed. The person changes. Is that not what you want? Take the best way out there. Advise them privately. You can actually, a lot of the times, if a person does a mistake in public, if you call that person, you just give them a phone call and you talk to them, okay? You may be able to get them to just come back from that mistake and correct themselves. You could, without you needing to make this whole entire scene and whatnot. You might, majority of the times, you can just make a phone call to the person, have a face-to-face -face conversation with them, and you can rectify the situation. Sheikh Abdul Aziz ibn Baz was like that, rahimahullah ta'ala. He was a person when he heard something about someone, he would call that person. He would speak to the person. He would send a letter to the person in order to come back from their mistake and their errors. Rahimahullah ta'ala, wallah, he was a nasih. He was a sincere advisor, rahimahullah, rahmatan wasi'ah. A lot of the people, they don't care. It's like, Alhamdulillah, it's clear for us now. Let's expose him. Let's uh, plaster his videos and air all over the place. Let's put a red red light over his oh, and they find happiness in that. Remember, you're not destroying anyone. Who are you destroying? Yourself. What you say about this person, inshallah, will not harm them. What are you going to do, Yom Al Qiyamah, when you come and they just take all your righteous deeds? We will say to the person who's happy with his brother's mistakes and his sister's mistakes, who's always happy, Alhamdulillah, he says. We will say to them, why are you happy? Don't be happy with your brother's mistake. Well, if you do become happy with it, remember, it is possible. It might be possible that you yourself might one day fall into the same mistake that your brother or your sister fell into. فَيُفْرَحُ عَلَيْكَ And then someone becomes happy at you for falling into this mistake. And at that point it will be said to you, فَلَا تَجْزَعَنْ مِنْ سِيرَةٍ أَنْتَ سِرْتَهَا فَأَوَّلُ رَاضٍ سِيرَةً مَنْ يَسِيرُهَا Don't become saddened or hurt about something you yourself treaded on once upon a time. You did it yourself. You were laughing at someone else's mistake. You were getting happy when someone else was exposed. Now that it has come, your time has come, don't get upset, don't get annoyed. Accept it. Because you once upon a time were like that. And it's happened to so many people that they followed up so many, so many other people's mistakes and short errors, they got exposed. So do yourself a favor. Uh, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for ikhlas and sincerity and rectify yourself. There's many mistakes that are in you that you need to rectify, that you need to change, you need to work on. That being said, I'm in no way, shape or form saying that if a person does a mistake publicly, he shouldn't be corrected. I am not saying that. And I've made enough videos about the position that refutation has in our religion. I did mention that. But the opposite of this discussion is also valid. 
which is who's entitled to do it? In what situation should one do it? How should one do it? All of that has a discussion with it. وَأَشَدُّ مَا فِي هَذَا And the, the, the biggest thing in this issue is تَتَبُّعَ ثَرَاتِ أَهْلِ الْعِلْمِ Some people who actually follow the mistakes of the scholars. You're not allowed to follow the mistakes of a Muslim. It gets even worse when you do that to the scholars. And what do you do? وَالتَّصَيُّدُ زَلَّاتِهِمْ And you hunt for their mistakes and errors. لَا بِقَصْدِ تَصْحِحِهَا وَالتَّنْبِيهِ عَلَيْهَا Your intent is not to correct the mistakes of the scholars and to point it out. But what your aim is what? وَإِنَّمَا لِتُتَّخَذَ The aim is what? So it can be taken as a what? ذَرِيعَةً So it can be taken as a means. وَإِنَّمَا لِتُتَّخَذَ ذَرِيعَةً لِلنَّيْلِ مِنْهُمْ It gets taken as a means to get at that scholar. وَالطَّعْنِ فِيهِمْ And to slander him. وَتَزْهِيدِ النَّاسِ بِهِمْ And to uh, disperse the people away from his gathering. Uh, فَهَذَا الصَّنِيعُ لَيْسَ مِنَ الْهِمَّةِ فِي شيء. And this doesn't have anything to do with high aspiration. Al-Alamat Muhammad Al-Khidr Hussein, he said something very powerful about this situation. It's a very powerful statement. He said, كبير الهمة يستبين خطأ في رأي عالم أو عبارة كاتب A person who has high aspiration. He will come across a mistake of a scholar or a writer, a Muslim writer. فيكتفي هو suffice himself بعرض ما استبان من خطأ على طلاب العلم and he would suffice himself by pointing out the mistake to the students of knowledge that he teaches. He doesn't bring this to the general mass and everything. The general mass don't need to, the doubt shouldn't be brought to them. And the mistakes of the people shouldn't be brought to them. The amateur nas don't need that. Unless, of course, the mistake has already reached them, then of course it should be corrected. But he doesn't go out there and come across a mistake that nobody actually else has come across it. And then he brings it to the mass. No. He just tells it to the students of knowledge. The reason he does that is لِيَفْقَهُوهُ So they can have fiqh and understanding of their religion in more details. وَيَأْبَى لَهُ أَدَبُهُ أَنْ يَنْزِلَ إِلَىٰ سَقْطِ الْكَلَامِ His dignity, this scholar, or this person has high aspiration, his honor and his dignity does not allow him to say unpleasant things about this person. No, he can't. أَوْ يَخِفَّ إِلَى التَّبَجُّحِ بِمَا عِنْدَهُ or he doesn't use that opportunity to show the people what he knows. Look at what I know, what I understand. He doesn't. وَقَدْ حَدَّثَنَا التَّارِيخُ عَنْ رِجَالٍ كَانُوا أَذْكِيَاءٍ History has told us that there were men who are wise. وَلَكِنَّهُ مُبْتُلُوا بِشَيْءٍ مِنْ هَذَا الْخُلُقُ الْمَكْرُوهُ But they've been tested with this bad, despicable behavior, which is to follow the mistakes of people or expose them or to pretend that they know more than that particular shaykh or that imam. فَكَانَ عِوَجًا فِي سِيَارِهِمْ وَلَطْخًا فِي صُحُفِهِمْ It became a turning point in their, bi- in their, hist- in their biography. It, it took things to the worst for them. And it also became وَلَطْخًا فِي صُحُفِهِمْ And it became a taint on their scrolls. In other words, they got looked at in a very, and un- people just didn't like them anymore. وَلَوْ تَحَامُوهُ لَكَانَ ذِكْرُهُمْ أَعْلَى وَمَقَامُهُمْ فِي النُّفُوسِ أَسْبَى وَمَنْزِلَتُهُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَرْقَى If only they went about it in the right way. They did as the, the Imam Rahimullah mentioned, which is to mention the mistakes to the students, not go out there and expose it and bring it out in the public and, and feast over it. And they use that as an opportunity to bring out your chest and say, look, this is what I know. And look what he doesn't know. So people can think you have more knowledge than the person you're criticizing. But in reality, that's not the case. That person has more knowledge than you and more understanding than you. So you use that as an opportunity. So he said, what happens to these people if they were to do that? Take the right approach and right way. Their their remembrance would be good. And they would be appreciated amongst the people. And in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they would have a higher station. That is, insha'Allah ta'ala, ba'du madahiri dunuwul himma. Ways in which low aspiration manifests. And insha'Allah ta'ala, I'm now going to go into asbabi dunuwul himma. Ways, uh, reasons, 
of what brings about low aspirations. Reasons that cause a person to have low aspiration. I will explain explain that inshallah ta'ala in the next episode bi kareem Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and Shaytan and Allah and His Messenger are both free from it. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdi. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like, and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.